Hey guys, and welcome to my quest guide for the 2021 Members Quest, Xandra's Quest. So to start this quest, you need to have completed the Vault of Shadows mini quest, and it is recommended to have done desperate measures if you want to follow along with the storyline, but that's not required to do the quest. Items required, you will need a Slayer Bell, which you can buy from any Slayer Master, and a knife. And then recommended items, the Blank Observation, if you have done the Heart of Stone quest, the Wicked Hood, two heart teleport tablets, the six age circuit if you've got it, or the eagle's peak lodestone unlocked, the archaeology journal, and a tokozo for teleport to the Tazar volcano. There are no enemies to defeat, but I will suggest bringing food for near the beginning of the quest because you can get injured. So to start the quest, we need to go to Berthorpe Castle, just north of the lodestone, and click to go upstairs, and choose option one, yes, to start a Xandra's quest. When you get up here, walk to the west side of the room and speak to Azandra. Go through his chat and then choose accept quest. When you've accepted, keep going through the chat. And then you will get a cutscene. So I will be skipping cutscenes during the quest guide, so if you want to listen to them, just pause, watch it, and then press play again. So, continue going through all the chat. And then when you've finished going through the chat, use your archaeology journal and teleport to the archaeology campus. So once you're at the archaeology campus, go inside and use the table and go to Caradet. Run east and go inside the dig site. Then roll them south. And run to the east, into the first building to the east. So just north of the pylon here, you will see Asandra and Trindine stood around the table. Speak to one of them. And go through the chat. So when you've gone through the chat, Asandra will tell you to meet him at the world gate. So use your six age circuit and teleport to the world gate. If you don't have a six age circuit, you can teleport to the Eagle's Peak Lodestone and run south. When you get to the world gate, Asandra will appear. So go and speak to him. Go through his chat and then click on the world gate to travel to Frenesky. Make sure you've got food because you will get damaged here. You can also bring something like an enhanced Excalibur. But there is break points where you can go and get food and then continue on if you need to. So, Asandra will teleport part way and you need to follow and jump across the agility obstacle. So first jump from the ledge just to the east. And then jump again. You will get damaged for 400 by the steam coming out the floor. Keep running east and climb the cliffside. And follow the path to the north and east. 
and there will be a little outcrop just south that you can jump over. Climb down and then speak to Asandra just to the east. If you didn't bring enough food and you do need more, you can teleport back out here and bank and then come back. But if you've got the enhanced Excalibur, that should be enough to keep you going through this. So follow the path to the north and then to the west, go over the stepping stones. And then climb up the cliffside again. And follow the path around to the north. When you get north, there will be an overhang. So click to wall run and speak to Sandra again. Choose option four, let's just keep going. Then climb down the cliffside just northeast of Asandra. And follow the path to the south. And then west. And slide down the slope. Keep going west, try and avoid the lava if possible or heal up if you don't avoid it. Run to the south. And then follow the path around to the east and you will reach another cliff side to climb up. And there's a rock formation you need to walk across, click on the side closest to you. When you get over, speak to Azandra again. And choose option four, let's just keep going. Run east and then north. Heal up if you get hit by the lava. And then east, climb down the drop. Keep following the eastern path. If it's difficult to see with the brightness, just Go south over the rock bridge and you will be next to Asandra again. Speak to him and he'll tell you the elder halls are just ahead. So head through the opening just to your east and then go through the chat with Ariane and Asandra. They will tell you that you need to inspect the fragmented spheres at the end of each of the halls. So once the chat's finished, start by heading west down the first of the hallways. So run all the way to the end and inspect the fragmented sphere and you'll get a cutscene. Go through the chat. When you get control again, we're going to go to each of the hallways in a clockwise direction now so run back towards the center and when you get into the center go to the northern hallway once again all the way to the end and inspect the fragmented sphere at the end and you'll get another cutscene 
hold spacebar and go through the chat once again. Then when you get control again, run south back into the centre. And this time we are going to run to the northeastern corridor. And just repeat ourselves, inspect the fragmented sphere. Cutscene will start and hold spacebar and go through the chat. At the end of the chat, head back into the centre. Next, we're going to head down the southeastern corridor. Run all the way to the end, inspect the fragmented sphere. Go through the cutscene, hold spacebar and go through all the chats. And then after this one, we have one more to go. So when you've got control, run back to the centre. And head down the corridor in the southwestern corner. Go through the chat. And when you get control, run back up to the centre again and speak to Asandra and Ariane. Go through the chat once again. And now you will need to collect some memories. Now on four of the five corridors, you will see a yellow dot on the minimap moving around. These are the memories you need to collect. So go into each of them and harvest 50 memories from each. So the first corridor we went down on the western side gives us Bix memories. So click on this and just stay there until you've got 50 memories. Once you've got 50, you will get a message saying that you've harvested enough and you can move on to the next one. So once you've finished with Bix memories, head back into the centre and go to the northern corridor. Again, you can see it on the mini map, it's just a blue memory. So click on it to get 50 memories from Wens.
So when you've got 50 of Wen's memories, run back to the centre. And up in the northeastern corridor. Again, you can see it on the minimap where it is. And you will see a red memory, so click to harvest 50 of Fu's memory. So run back to the center when you've got 50. In the southeastern corner, there is no memory. So run down to the southwestern. And you will see the little yellow wisp to harvest Jazz's memories. Once again, you need 50 of these. Once you've got 50, head back up to the centre and speak to Asandra. And then click inspect on the blank observation. And speak to Asandra again. You'll hand over the blank observation and then just go through the chat. So there'll be another cutscene. So if you want to watch it again, just pause the video and I'm going to skip over it. So there will be a little bit more chat. Press spacer to go through. And then once all the chat is finished, Asandra and Ariane will disappear and we need to teleport to Falador. When they disappear, don't teleport straight away. There will be a chat from the blank observation if you do teleport away or click and it cancels it you can restart the conversation so that's not a problem so as you can see i clicked teleport and skip over the chat first But if you did skip it, just inspect the blank observation again. You have to make sure you go through this chat first, otherwise the quest log guide won't change to tell you to go to Falador. So press option one and go through the chat. Option two, what do you want? And option three, try to block out the voices. Once you've gone through the chat, choose option five, I've heard enough. And run into Falador. We are going to enter the White Knight's castle. So as soon as you enter the gates over the bridge, you'll get interrupted. Go through the chat and you'll find out it's trending in disguise.
Once you've gone through the chat, head into the courtyard to the eastern side and go through the doorway. Keep going east and go up the ladder. And then run west and up the staircase. When you get up here, speak to Father Frith and go through his chat. Choose any option when they come up. And then keep going through the chat. So go back down the stairs and back to the east and down the ladder. And then back into the next room and speak to Sir Owen, who was stood next to the table. Go through all the chats and choose option one with what? Keep going through the rest of the chat. And when you get control again, then head back up the ladder on the eastern side. Run west and go back up the staircase. Speak to Father Friff or Sir Owen again. And go through the chat once again. So when the chat's finished, they will tell you you need to go to speak to Sir Amic Vaz. So when you've got control, go down the stairs again. Run to the east and go down the ladder. Run out to the courtyard. And go through the western door. And then go up the steps on the western wall. And then up one more flight of stairs. And Sir Amic will be on the south wall. Speak to him, choose option one, ask about Xandra's quest. And go through his chat. Choose any of the options. Keep the space bar held to go through all the chat again. Once you've finished speaking to Sir Amic, you'll move to the side and have a chat with Sir Owen. Once again, hold space bar and go through the chat. And then go down the staircase. Down the staircase again to the ground floor. And then go out into the courtyard and speak to Padaminas, the big dude with wings. Choose option one, ask about Xandra's quest and then go through his chat. Here you can choose any option. You will get the same result from them. Keep going through all the chat.
when you've got control again go back in the eastern door and up the ladder to the first floor and then up the staircase to the west once again go in the room to the south and speak to surviving choose option one ask about his andrus quest and then hold spacebar and go through his chat again When you've got control again, you need to go back down to the ground floor. So go down the staircase and back down the ladder to the east. In the next room, speak to Sir Owen. And he'll ask you to search the cupboard. Choose option one, look for ritual documents. And then continue going through the chat. So back up the ladder when you have control again. But instead of going up the staircase, just head into the room with the staircase into the west. And you will see everyone stood around one of the safes. Go up and speak to Sir Owen and you will unlock the safe. You'll get some ritual instructions and he'll tell you that you need to make a silent bell and bless it. So just go through the chat. So when the chat's finished, you will need to go to the Patadomas Temple. Make sure you've got a knife and a slayer bell in your inventory. And you can use the invitation box to teleport to the Empyrean Citadel and then back down to be right next to the temple. If not, you can also go to the Slayer Tower or a fairy ring just west of Canifis. But whichever way is fastest, make your way to the Patadomas Temple. And head underneath. When you've got the slayer bell, you just need to right click and choose remove clapper to get the silent bell. Once you're inside, use the silent bell on the well in the center of the temple, and you will get a silent bell blessed. So we'll teleport back to Falador. And head back inside, east, up the ladder and up the stairs back to Saradomin's throne room. So when you get up the stairs, you need to ring the blessed silent bell three times while calling out Saradomin's name. So press once to ring and choose option one, Saradomin. 
click to ring again, option one, sorodomen, and third time, option one, sorodomen, and then you will get a cutscene. So, if you're not interested, once again, hold the spacebar and go through all the chats. You'll need to choose option three, the world is in danger. Then option one, we're concerned about Seren. Option two, we need to find the eggs. And then option one, we need your crown. And then just continue on through all the chat so you've got control again. So once all the chat is finished, then we need to head back to Caradet. So use your archaeology journal and teleport and head back to Caradet. And we need to head back inside and everyone will they still be stored around that table, the same place as they were last time we came and spoke to them. So make your way into the main part of the dig site. And then south and east. And speak to Azandra. So there'll be another long chat when they ask about Sir Owen. We get two options. Let's choose option two, he wants to help. And then hold your space bar. It's quite a long chat, so just go through it until you've got control again. So, when you've got control, we have three places we need to go. So first, head to Karamja. If you teleport to the Lodestone, you can head across Brimhaven to the east, towards the Tazha volcano. If you do have a toggle zone, you can teleport directly inside.
when you get here, Trindine will be stood outside, speak to her and go through the chat. And then head inside the Tassar city. Speak to Trindine once again and go through all the chat. Choose option two, this is Trindine. She's helping me with the quest and continue through all the chat. When you've got control again, run to the north, up to the main plaza. And speak to Trindian once again. Go through all the chat, just hold down the space bar if you're not interested in reading it. And once she disappears, speak to Tokar Hawk and go through all of his chat. He will tell you who knows about the Elder Halls, but won't tell you anything about them. So when you're finished, run to the west and into the little northwestern room. And you need to enter the library. The library is just on the western wall in here. And when you go in, you can run to the south. Trindian will just stood just in the middle of the room to the south. You go over and speak to her. Go through the chat once again. So we have two more locations to go to. So if you open your currency pouch and use the memory strands to teleport to the Memorial of Gothics. And Trindian will be stood on the other side of the pool. Speak to her, go through the chat and she will tell you to go into the pool and enter the Hall of Memories. Go inside and choose option one yes to enter as part of the quest. And you will go through the chat with the archivist. Go through the chat, you can choose any options. And just keep choosing any option you want.
So when you're finished with the chat, you will need to collect the six memories that are floating around the room. They are the purplish blue orbs that are floating around. So I'll run in and collect all six of them. Once you've got all six of them, go back to the archivist and speak to him. And he will start restoring functionality at a very slow rate. So go through the chat with Trindine and just go through all of the options one at a time. Keep going through all the tracks and some other memories will be released. This time they will be the white restricted memories. So collect all six of them. And this time, once you've got all six, you need to activate these six plinths. This is exactly the same as activating the core in the center when doing divination. So go through all six plinths, three in the northwest and three in the northeast, and place those restricted memories on them. Once you've done all six, the center bud will open. So run into the center and study the memory boards, search the memory boards and you find an engram. Go through the chat again and then head back into the pool to go outside. Choose option one, yes to leave. And you need to use the engram on the butterfly statue to the west side of the pool. Right click on the engram and use it on the fountain of energy and you will get a chat with Guthix. So hold space for and go through his chat.
And then once you've gone through the tat, Trundine will show up once again. And then tell you you need to head to the last location. So use your Wicked Hood and teleport to the Wizard's Tower. If you don't have it already, there is a bank chest right next to you. So you can just take it out and teleport. Head to the bottom floor. And then run north as if you're heading out of the Wizard's Tower. And a chat will start when you get to the entryway with Wizard Trindy, which is just Trindine in disguise. Choose any option. Go through all the chat. And then when the chat is over, you will need to go in and search for a book. So you need to search the bookcases on the western side and Trindine will search the bookcases on the eastern side. So make sure you go through any chat each time you search a bookcase. If you skip any of the chat, then the next bookcase will give you the same chat again. So you need to go fully through the chat on four different bookcases. So when you've done that, head over to the eastern side and speak to Trindine, or Wizard Trindy, and go through the chat, and she will tell you to head back to Caridet. So use your archaeology journal and teleport once again, and head back to the Caridet dig site. Head inside the main part of the dig site and back to the same location where everyone was stood around the table. So go in and speak to Azandra once again. So next you need to head to the heart. So if you've got a heart teleport tablet, use that and head directly to the heart, which is God Wars 2. Once you get inside, hop on the platform, the wooden lift to the south and exit. And speak to Azandra outside.
go through all the chat with Azandra and Ariane and then you will need to head inside. So, press option one to enter as part of the quest. And then you will get another cutscene with Helwia and Gregorovich talking to Asandra. So I'll just go through all the chat till you get control again. And once the chat's finished, Ariane will open a secret doorway and you will end up inside a new chamber with five corridors just like the Elder Halls. So once you've gone through the chat, you will need to head down to the eggs. So run down the southwestern path first. And click to observe Fool's Egg and go through the chat. When you've got control, run north back to the centre and south into the middle. Down the middle corridor and the same once again. Click to observe Wen's egg and go through the chat in the cutscene. And then when you get control again, go back into the centre and go down the eastern corridor. Click to observe Big Egg. And go through the chat and the cutscene. So when all the chat is finished, then you can head back to the Caridet dig site once again. So use your archaeology journal and teleport, and then head to Caridet, and back to the same location we've been a couple few more times, inside the dig site and back to where everyone is stood around the table.
So this time you get there, there will be no one around the table. Go through the chat with the shadow voice and the white voice. And then you need to go and stand next to one of the pylons. So head out of the room. There is a pylon just to the south. So if you stand next to that, you will get charged. And then they'll tell you you need to charge up four of the shadow anchors. So once the chat's finished, there is one just to the south of where you are on the southern wall. You don't need to click on it, just walk over to it and you will charge it. Now you can go to any four of these you want, whichever is easiest. I went through into the chapel. There is one on the southern wall of the chapel. And then go through and climb over the wall next to the altar. And there's another one in there. And then head back out over the wall and out through the barrier. And choose one more shadow anchor to charge. I went up to the one on the wall just on the way out of the dig site. Once the last one is charged, a Trindine Wisp will show up. So we just need to gather 50 memories from that, just like we did earlier with the four memories in the Elder Halls. Once you've got all 50 wisps, memories, wherever they are, you will chat with the voices again. Click to inspect the blank observation. And go through the chat and you will get a memory from Trindy. So just go through all the chat so you get control again. Then we'll need to head back to all three locations that we went to with Trindine earlier. So use your Wicked Hood and travel to the Wizard's Tower. Descend to the bottom floor and head north back to that little entryway to go through a chat with Wizard Valina. Spam through the chat and she will tell you that a book was stolen. So when the chat's finished, we need to head to our next location. So next, teleport to Karanja. and head back into the Tisahi city. Once again, if you've got a Tokozo, you can teleport directly into the city. If not, you can go from the Karanja Lodestone and run east across Brimhaven. Head in the city and run north back to the centre.
when you get here speak to Gao he's at the southern end of the circle and go through his chat And when that's done, go in your currency pouch and head to the Hall of Memories using your memory strands. Once you get there, head into the pool. Choose option one, yes. Speak to the archivist again and then go through his chat. Once you've been through the chat, we need to head back to the heart. So if you brought a second heart teleport tablet, you can use that. If not, there's a bank just outside. So get a tablet out and teleport. Once you get there, exit to the south once again, using the wooden lift. And then just click to enter again and choose option one, yes, to continue as Andrew's quest. And you will end up back down with the eggs. Speak to Ariane and go through her chat. You'll hand over the memories we collected from Trindine and there'll be a cutscene. So you can just hold your spacebar down and go through the cutscene. It is quite long, so you can either skip through it or read it if you really have been following the story as well.
when the cutscene's finished, you'll be back with Ariane. Go through the chat and then we need to head back to Falador. Choose any option. And teleport back to Falador and head south from the Lodestone and enter the courtyard. But just as you cross over the bridge, Ariane will be stood there, so speak to her. Go through the chat and you will go into a cutscene. So sit back and enjoy the cutscene or skip through if you haven't been following along with it. Any chat options can be chosen. It doesn't make a difference which one you choose. So when the chat options come up, just choose whichever one you want. So at the end of the cutscene, use your archaeology journal and teleport back and head back to Caridet one last time. Head back into the main dig site and back to the table where we've been multiple times already. This time, Asandra and Trindine will be stood around it with Zaros and Ariane. Speak to Asandra and go through the chat. And just go through it all until they disappear. You can choose any of the options when they come up, it doesn't matter.
when they disappear you'll be left with Trindine who will also disappear and then you'll have a little bit of a conversation with Ariane and then once you've been through Ariane's conversation that will be quest complete so for now this is where we leave it until the next quest in the series so for completing the quest you will get three quest points 15,000 archaeology XP lamp, a 25,000 divination XP lamp, an XP lamp which gives 10,000 XP in the skill of your choice, the knowledge to restore the pontifex observation ring which uses a pontifex ring and a lapis lazuli gem, and two treasure hunter keys. So well done and quest complete!